in this video we saw a massive pump with the SLP price action but the question is are we out of the woods and guys on top of that we are seeing massive bearish signal signs across the whole crypto market as well as with ethereum as well as bnb stay tuned to know more <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So let's dive into this video and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So di ba kahapon what we were still monitoring was this ascending channel forming within across all time frames kasi look at this, Bitcoin is still consolidating within the support and resistance area. And look at this, we are still playing within that area. Pero meron din tayong warning kahapon na binanggit na we need to hold this support line. Kasi kung di natin yun na-hold, then we are actually going to go down with the Bitcoin price action. But right now, hindi pa natin siya nababreak. So we are still not yet seeing any confirmation ng ating breakdown. But as of the time being, we are seeing a potential warning talaga dito sa crypto market. Kasi look at this, we have an ascending channel. And this could be a possible ascending channel or a rising wedge. But if this is a rising wedge, then this could actually lead into a possible breakdown dito sa ating crypto market. In that case, if this breaks down, then we have to monitor kung ano ba yung maging galaw ng altcoin market kasi possible na mag-bleed yung ating altcoin market when this goes down. And with that being said, we are going to dive in with the altcoin market quickly. So looking at Ethereum, as you can see, Ethereum is right now forming a massive rising wedge within the 4-hour time frame, which is pinakita ko din to sa inyo kagabi, guys. So right now, we are currently forming this rising wedge, and on top of that, you can see now we are actually forming a declining RSI. So that is a sign of a bearish reversal. But right now, it's not play out. But take note, we are seeing a massive warning. If let's say we are not able to sustain this movement, then we might see a bearish trend reversal with the Ethereum price action. So the target natin dito would actually be the following. Number one would be the US$2,950. Number two is going to be the US$2,890. And our technical target would be around the 2800 40 US dollars. So, at it titignan dito with Ethereum price action, as you can see, we have that massive rising wedge forming with Ethereum. But what if, let's say, break bullish to, then our target is just going to get the height of this movement. So, kunin natin yung height, then lagi natin siya sa possible point of breakout. So, take note, this is only just the best case scenario if, and best case scenario is only going to play out if, let's say, nagkaroon tayo ng breakout sa ating resistance. So, if nagkaroon tayo ng breakout dyan, then 3,200 US dollars is going to be our target. But take note, we have to monitor this rising wedge as well as this bearish divergence forming within the 4-hour time frame because typically, these types of indicators are a bearish reversal indicators. Now, you can also see that similar movement with BNB, similar than the price action. So, to get our bullish movement, you can actually get the height. So, lagi nang natin siya sa point of breakout. In this case, we might see a possible move up until 426 US dollars. But take note, this is a bearish signal. So, in this case, ano may magiging bearish target natin? So, magiging target natin will be the bottom of the wedge as well as different support areas. So as you can see, ipaplot natin yung ating mga targets. So our, our targets for the BNB price action would number one be around the 400 US dollars, number two, 395, and the number three, around the 389 US dollars. So right now, that is what you have to monitor with the BNB price action kasi right now, we are seeing a bearish signals with the crypto market, not only with BNB, but as well as Ethereum and Bitcoin. And then diving in with SLP, karamihan nakita ko nagasabi na, Ayan na, tuloy-tuloy na doon si SLP, magbabadega pa doon sila lang ng SLP. And then sabi nila na, ano doon yung buying area daw ulit ni, ni SLP? Well, kung ako tatanungin nyo, if you're going to look at this, this is not a buy signal, this is a selling signal. So always remember, yung palagi ko sinasabi sa inyo, when in doubt, zoom out. Kasi shorter time frames can be very misleading. Kasi if you're going to look at this in the 15-minute time frame, akalain mo na ang laki ng pinump niya. Pero in reality, if you're going to look at the 4-hour time frame, Andun pa din tayo kay SLP, wala pa din nagbago and we are still moving sideways. It's just a normal consolidation. So huwag kayong masyado ma-FOMO if let's see nakakita kayo ng pump within the 15-minute time frame kasi take note, those movements are very misleading. Always zoom out, always look at the 4-hour time frame and always look at indicators. Kasi look at this, indicator is telling us that it's a selling opportunity and it's not a massive move talaga. Looking at this in the daily time frame, we can see na we are hitting a massive resistance around the siguro 0 0.021 cents area. So right now, this is indicating that we are seeing a massive resistance with SLP. So, ano lang ba yung magiging only way para masabi natin na bullish si SLP? 
So the only way na we can see na bullish si SLP is if makakuha tayo ng daily candle close above the 100 day MA as well as if makita tayo ng daily candle close above this resistance line. Which is right now, wala pa tayo nakikita ng candle close above that area. So right now, this is indicating na we don't have any bullish breakout with SLP. It's just a very normal consolidation. Wala naman talaga nakikita pang breakout not unless ma-break natin yung resistance. And as you can see, remember, in best buying opportunity is whenever we are below 30 threshold. Take note, if your RSI is below 30, then that is a good buy indicator. But if let's say we are above 70 sa ating RSI, then that is a good selling opportunity. And as you can see, we are at a selling opportunity right now with SLP. So right now, this is a selling opportunity if you are in SLP or if you are trading for the very short term. And take a look at this, guys. We actually hit our resistance exactly then following that massive pump ni SLP. So as of the time being, my sentiment remains the same. We are still expecting more consolidation kay SLP. Hindi ako nag-expect pa din massive move, not unless magkaroon tayo ng daily candle closes above this resistance area. But guys, if you want to long or short SLP, if let's say you want to trade SLP with leverage, one of the only places na you can do that is actually in Bybit kasi kay Binance wala tayong ganito opportunity. Hindi mo siya pwede i-long or short kay Binance. So if you want to long or short SLP, one of the only places na you can do that is actually in Bybit. And if you want to claim bonus with Bybit, just use my sign-up link na you can find the description down below. So, in one update for the time being, if you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.